With its sunny seaside setting and centuries-old historic sites, Cadiz is a fantastic place to visit and vacation. Lying along the Costa de la Luz in Andalusia, the ancient port's palm tree-lined promenades and plazas are a treat to explore. One of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in southern Europe, it was founded around 1100 BCE by the Phoenicians. Over the millennia, its strategically positioned strip of land has been ruled over by everyone from the Romans and Greeks to the Visigoths and Moors. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Cadi so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Playa Victoria. If after all the endless sightseeing, you just want to sit back, relax, and soak up some sun then Playa Victoria is the place to go. It is said to be one of the best beaches in Spain, and that's saying something, its expansive sands border the newer part of town. Lying just a 10 or 15 minute drive or public transport journey down the peninsula from Barrio del Populo, it stretches almost 3 kilometers in length. Backed by a wide promenade with tons of bars and cafes, the beach is perfect for lounging on lazily. At number 9 is the Catedral de Cadiz. The city's standout symbol and site, the colossal Catedral de Cadiz showcases an astounding mix of Baroque, Renaissance, and neoclassical styles. Set right in the center alongside the sparkling sea, the must-visit landmark makes for some phenomenal photos and viewing. Known as the Cathedral of the Americas, its imposing facade, towers, and glittering dome were built between 1722 and 1838. Now a bit worn from sea salt in the centuries passing, its grand size and scale highlighted Cadiz's considerable power and the wealth pouring in from the New World. At number 8, Castillo de Santa Catalina. At the opposite end of La Caleta's sweeping sands to San Sebastian is the charming Castillo de Santa Catalina. Unlike its counterpart, you can enter the fortress with an old chapel, art gallery, and informative plaques on its past. After the city was sacked by the English in 1596, the Spanish king commissioned the fort to improve its defenses. Protected by sturdy stone walls, the star-shaped structure is centered around its parade ground. At number 7, Barrio del Populo. The oldest neighborhood in Cadiz, getting lost in Barrio del Populo is the highlight of many visitors' time in town. While it boasts many of the city's main sites such as the cathedral and Roman theater, its atmospheric alleys and cobblestone squares are just as enchanting to explore. The heart and soul of life on the peninsula during the Middle Ages, it has thankfully preserved much of its past. Lining its densely packed mess of streets and plazas are plenty of impressive old palaces and medieval buildings to see. At number 6 on our list, Gran Teatro Falla. How familiar are you with Neil Mujar architecture? Springing to popularity circa the 19th and 20th centuries, it's a postmodern take on the original Mujar style used in design between the 12th to 17th centuries. Employed by the Spanish in aid to set their buildings apart with a unique architectural look, after a fire burnt down the city's original theater, it was decided to rebuild a new one in this particular design. At number 5, Torre Tavira. For the best views imaginable over Cadiz however, you have to head to the top of Torre Tavira. Rising dramatically above the old town, the lofty landmark also has a cool camera obscura to check out. Back in the 18th century, the city's skyline positively bristled with towers as merchants wanted to know when ships from the New World were arriving. The tallest of the 130 or so watchtowers still standing, Tavira soars 45 meters in total. To reach its viewing platform, you have to pant your way up 170 narrow, spiral steps. At number 4, Plaza de San Juan de Dios. Also home to some of the city's most elegant and important buildings is Plaza de San Juan de Dios. 
Full of pretty palm trees, the wide open square has a stunning statue and water fountain at its center while numerous restaurants and bars surround it. Built in the 15th century on land reclaimed from the sea, it was later enlarged when the city walls were demolished. Besides the beautiful Church of San Juan de Dios, it is overlooked by the Old Town Hall. Exhibiting an arresting mix of neoclassical and Gothic styles, it is here that Andalusia's flag was raised for the first time in 1936. At number 3 in our list, Park Genovs. A very peaceful place to wander around, the lush, green Park Genovs can be found along by the sea, in between Baluarte de la Candelaria and Castillo de Santa Catalina. After visiting all the city's forts, squares, and churches, its gorgeous gardens make for a very pleasant change. Meticulously laid out and maintained, its meandering paths are lined by more than a hundred species of plants, flowers, and trees. Dotted about are some statues, fountains, and a pond with its wonderful waterfall usually attracting the most attention. At number 2, Paris de la Frontera. If you want to see a bit more of Andalusia, then Jerez de la Frontera is a great nearby option for a day trip. Located half an hour away, the sizable city has an atmospheric old town and an imposing cathedral and fortress to explore. Due to its strategic position just inland from the Atlantic, the city thrived for centuries thanks to trade with the important ports of Seville and Cadiz. As a medieval border town though, it was attacked lots of times by first the Christians and then the Moors. Check out the number one places in our list, Playa de la Caleta. The most popular beach in town, Playa de la Caleta provides spellbinding views of both the San Sebastian and Santa Catalina castles. Aside from sunbathing and splashing around in the sea, it has fantastic restaurants and nightlife spots to hit up nearby. Stretching 400 meters in length, its soft sands gently curve their way along the natural harbor in the old town. In ancient times, the Phoenicians, Carthaginians, and Romans all moored their ships here, taking advantage of its calm, sheltered waters. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Cadiz. Is there something we missed let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.